Hi everybody. Um, happy 1010. Um, I just want to talk today about uh, about sin and just how it's done how it's how it's done us such a huge injustice. Just the the idea of sin has done us a huge injustice injustice as a spirit as as spiritual beings. Um, the idea that we are born into sin and the, that we are naturally sinful is it just it really like that it's just so not true and when and I think that I think that um, that idea has been around for so long it's almost in our collective consciousness like it's almost like a belief in our collective consciousness like like if you know even if even if a family is not is not to like um christian or even or even like you know goes to church or or reads the bible i think that they still know about sin and they still consider themselves you know sin sinful and stuff and i'm not saying that there aren't bad acts and bad decisions and stuff like that there is but the actual the actual thought the idea that we are born into sin is just it's just completely backwards. Um, it is. It's just completely ridiculous, and I think that it's given us a huge inferiority complex as spiritual beings, and um, and just like what a just what a great way to get the common people to not be in touch with their spirituality. Like, oh, you know, I just, um, I, I just, just had that thought a minute ago that, like, you know, I think a lot of things in the Bible are, are really awesome, like, especially the stuff that Jesus said is great, but a lot of stuff in the Bible is, like, just, like, no, no, that's not it, no, 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 don't listen to that. That will make you feel bad about yourself and just go backwards. Like, that's just, that's backwards. A lot of the stuff in there is really backwards. Um, but I think a lot of stuff that Jesus says in there is really metaphysical. You know, the uh, Matthew 6.22, If thine eye be full of light, thy body be full, uh, sorry, if thy eye be single, my th thy body be full of light. And then there's another one, um, uh, he who sits in darkness sees a great light, which I'll be talking about that one a little bit later in a different video. Very interesting. Um, but but anyway, back to like this the sin. Um, I I really think that I really think that the belief that we are born into sin and we are naturally sinful um, is really detrimental to our spiritual growth, and I think they purposely put that in there. Um, uh, and the reason why is because, like, if if we, we we cannot see ourselves as sacred when we believe that we are sinful, that when we are viewing ourselves as this unworthy, sinful, like, unwholesome, like, sinner, I guess. Um, and, we, yeah, we just, we can't view ourselves as, as, as um as sacred when when we are when we have that belief and um uh, and if we can't see ourselves as sacred then we can't unconditionally love ourselves and if we can't see ourselves as sacred then we can't treat ourselves as sacred and we can't let other people treat us as sacred either and it's just it's really such a it's just really doing us such a great harm to believe that we are unworthy like we're it's like you know if you muscle test that so many people believe that they're unworthy of love and I bet you it stems from that unworthiness of like unworthy that they're just plain unworthy that they're just like they're scum you know whole you know like like Wayne's World thing like we're not worthy, we're not worthy, we're scum, we suck, you know, that thing. Like, that's what it's like, that's what I think of every time I hear the word sin, I think of that scene. And I, like, that's exactly what I think it's trying to, trying to do. 
And um, so, so back to the positive part, we need to see ourselves as sacred. We, it, like, we need to see, we need to view ourselves as the opposite of sinners. We are, we are sacred. We are sacred, spiritual beings. And when we truly believe that, that, that really opens up. That really opens up our spiritual growth. And the best part about it is when you can, when you can look at yourself and truly believe that you are a, a sacred being, it is natural. It is natural. It is your, it becomes your nature to view other people like that and to act like that. Like, of course, like, of, of course we struggle with, like, we think it's like, we think it's something that's like inbred inside, or not inbred, but you know, inbred inside of us. Like, we can't get rid of this, like, the, the sinful nature and stuff like that. Like, we're born into sin, you know? It's, some, it's something that we think that we can't get rid of. But it's not something that it's, like, stuck on us, you know? It's not like a birthmark or something. It's a belief. And if you simply change that belief, you know, it, from, from I'm an unworthy sinner to I'm a sacred spiritual being, it just, it completely changes. Like, it just completely changes. You see the world here, when you're over here, you see the world as you, you, you know, you see yourself as a sinner, you see other people as, a, as sinners, and it's really hard to see beauty in the world when you're, when you're looking at the world from this, these, you know, like, unworthy eyes, like the whole world looks unworthy and, you know, like, oh, why are we even here, what, why, why am I even living if I'm this, you know, like, this horrible sinner and stuff, um, like, you really feel really bad and awful about yourself. People struggle so hard to feel, to get confidence, to get genuine confidence. And, and really, like, you know, once, once you fully believe that you are a, a, a sacred spiritual being, you can see the world, you can see, view the world like that as well. You, you honestly, it's like, so, from, um, as within, so without. If you honestly see yourself as sacred, it will be it will be natural for you to see other people as sacred and to treat them such, or as so, yeah, and to see the whole world as sacred, and then and then a beautiful and amazing thing starts to happen, where you just look at the world and you can't help. help. You can't help but see beauty everywhere. And it's just, it's just really, really nice. It's just beautiful. When you see beauty everywhere, just in every day, if you can find beauty in every moment, it's such a joy to be alive. And I think that, I think that that's, I think that once we get rid of this idea that we're sinners, we can, we can open up to the idea that we are sacred, and then we can view the world as, we can view the world as sacred and beautiful, and when that starts to happen, you just, you, your, your perspective on reality changes so drastically that it is, it is, uh, it is even hard for the physical body, physical body to, uh, to withstand, as you can see. <laughs> um, this is, it's, <sighs> happiness makes you cry, as the flaming lips said, happiness makes you cry. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I just, I definitely recommend no, I don't, I don't even recommend, it's just, you have, you really, I believe everybody is sacred, and just, just, if you're watching this, you are sacred, believe it, because it's true, you are sacred, you are beautiful, um, 
So look at yourself like that. Look at yourself as beautiful and sacred. Start treating yourself as beautiful and sacred. I'm running out of time, so I gotta go. But happy 10, 10, 10, and definitely, definitely, uh, you are sacred.